Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. It's time to check out the Emerald Suite. We're looking for... Uh, was it Nassif? Yeah, we want to search Dr. Nassif's apartment, try to find more information about what they've been doing with me and the other test subjects. And we've also been given the mission to... <laughs> not destroy the beans in the coffee wars, no thanks. Investigate? Yes, search the Minister of Culture's penthouse in the Emerald Suites. Look for a vault containing smuggling contraband. We've just been given that by the WTO. So, let's take a look around. Hey, buddy. Make way. Watch your step. Injuries may Hello. occur. Greetings. So this is Nasir's place, right? 2224? We have a map of this place, by the way. Yep, there's that. That's... Now, we'll just... Looks like there's three apartments in here, right? So the cultural minister or whatever apartment must be this one or this one. Good work. You found Dr. Nassif's place. Now see what you can learn. <sighs> Probably should close that behind me. I don't know if they would, like, open fire if they saw me. I don't know if they, like, know who lives here, but they definitely would not like it if they saw me using one of those hacking tools. Alright, Dr. Nasir. You know what's really weird? is My performance here is way worse than most places. For some reason, this game is not running at a smooth 60. Like, the frame rate keeps dipping, not to unplayable numbers at all. But, like, right now, it's, like, sort of... Sometimes, like, 30 FPS, it feels like. But I'm not sure why. I mean, it should be constant 60 and above. This game came out in 2003. Zero Point Energy. Report to Congress on the progress of the Zero Point Energy project. We have successfully harnessed Zero Point Energy. Within the year, Zero Point Energy converters can be online to provide all inhabitants of the Earth with a clean and cost-free energy source. That's the same picture. Is that the only picture in the entire game? That's just sad. Now start searching her apartment. Maybe there's a data cube or something. What's this all about? I wanted you to see more evidence that the program is corrupt. We weren't their protégés, just their guinea pigs. That's why I joined the order. So you're serious, leaving all your work at Tarsus behind so you can join this church. How do you know we can trust them? They attacked the apartments and put us in danger. I've been talking with their high auger, Lin Mei Chen. There was some miscommunication about the raid, but the main objectives were still accomplished. They showed us what was really going on behind the scenes and freed us. I'm grateful, and you should be too. Grateful? Miscommunication? They were shooting at us! We're not exactly sure what went wrong, but there are some radical cells within the Order that want to take more extreme measures. They certainly don't represent the Order as a whole. We've been with the program since we were 13 years old. Why are you so quick to abandon that? What can the Order offer you? They really want us to find true balance and order in our lives, which can only be possible when we're not being subjected to secret experiments. Tarsus gave us a lot. Maybe we owe them a chance to explain. Don't be naive. Search Nassif's apartment, then go to the Order headquarters in the old Hartford Turbine Warehouse in Lower Seattle. It will all become clear to you. Yeah, the Order having a more radical division amongst it has a lot of echoes with Deus Ex Mankind Divided. With ARC, the Augmented Rights Coalition, and led by Talos Rucker, who's very non-violent, and then there's a much more violent cell within ARC, led by Victor Marchenko. Why does everybody have these, like, mini-fridges? And what about a freezer? Do they just not have a freezer? One of these days, there'll be something underneath the pillow. Next shipment. I'll continue simplifying your commerce and transportation. Also, in the wake of Chicago, it might be a good idea to keep that recent delivery in storage for a bit longer. By the way, the WTO is pestering me to join the elite committees again. 
I have my reservations, but it might help our cause. M. Finley. That sounds like it's from Mark Finley, Seattle's Minister of Culture. Now why would he be talking to Nassif about hiding a shipment? Is Tarsus involved in some sort of smuggling operation? Look at this. Look at this stuff. Like, this trash can looks like it's made out of dirty concrete, and this, I don't even know what that is. It's like a letter holder, or just, I don't know, a holder of some sort. It looks like it's made out of the same dirty concrete. That is hideous. Scrambler grenade. I've got like five types of grenades at this point. Ooh. Was that um, one of the black market ones? Or is it, was that a normal one? I'm not sure how to tell. Uh, black market canister required, so no, that's not a black market one. Um, thermal masking, near invisibility to bots slash mechanical units. Mm, I'd rather be invisible to humans, I think. Let's upgrade my vision enhancement. It'll use less power and allow me to see organic targets through walls. Actually, let's use that right now. So that's F2. Can I see the guard outside? Oh, there we go. Not a bad range. Zero point energy, just read that. What did I just pick up? Oh, what the heck? Just a tube of toothpaste, I think. It sounds like metal, though, when I throw it at things. It sounds sharp. So, am I done with the quest, or is there more? I guess that's it. I was expecting more juicy stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's search the rest of this place. Oh. going on here. Oh! Here we go! They're home. I should have used my vision thing. Um. Should I try shocking them? Like, repeatedly? Oh, you just gotta shock them for a long time when they go down. Okay. Alright, cool. It looks like they're in the ready position to go flying. Whee! I want to catch them on the fan... <laughs> catch them on the fan blades. <laughs> cool flip, wow. Oh, I don't think the fan blades have collision. This is too fun. They're still alive, right? Unconscious, yes. Let's go high throw them. Uh. <laughs> Perfect pose. Paint me. I can see through the back of their jacket. Should probably turn on the light when I'm inside. Little rooms like this. There's the same painting. Bruh. We're still alive. Okay. I gotta be careful about throwing objects at them, because now that I have strength, it doesn't make throwing objects do more damage. <laughs> so maybe I could kill them. I don't know. The plan. 
plan charge a plant charges here to destroy Vault Door. The ministry a minister of culture's private collection mysteriously stolen from his penthouse in the Emerald Suites. All the public terminals will be talking about it. My famous heist. It'll go down in history. Wow, that's very convenient. I needed to get into their place, and this person was planning a heist of their place. Oh, you've just acquired a weapon mod. Weapon mods are used to upgrade and customize your ranged weapons. Each weapon can accept two mods. Select the weapon you wish to modify. Left click on it, then left click install button. Hmm. Oh my god. I hate it. Inclinators? Inclinator as gatekeeper. There are those that revere the Inclinator as a symbol of connectedness between Upper and Lower Seattle. But those living in the shadow of the platform city know it as a myth. No, it is a myth. The Inclinator divides more than it connects, and ensures that only a select few can pass over the gap between the haves and the have-nots. It guards against the wrong kind of person traveling into the bright, clean streets of Upper Seattle. Okay, let's take a look at what we can upgrade. So, let's see. Okay, so there's no mods for the stun prod. Not surprising. Well, I guess at this point it's got to be the pistol, huh? Let's see. Oh. Oh, it's not like a generic weapon mod. Choose whatever type of mod you want. I got specifically a silencer mod. Okay. Yeah, let's get that. Let's see what it sounds like now. Okay, cool. Hmm. I wonder if it's not possible to jump up. Like, can you, like, grapple and grab an edge? Whoa! What just happened? All I did was jump. Huh. Okay. Let's try that again. Like, I feel like that should be like a ladder that you can climb, you know? It's so big and you could easily grab that. Okay, uh, let's try to enable the movement thing. That should allow me to jump higher supposed to. Wait, what was that? Oh! Oh! It's in the vents! My cute little spider bot. I mean, you know, that's not mine, but I think of them all as mine. That one's not very friendly, though. I need an energy cell. Double click to use. Let's see how much it restores. So I'm a little bit lower than half, like 40%. Oh! Wow. Concussion proximity mine. I have a question. Why do just average citizens have mines and grenades and knives under their pillows? <laughs> a little bit odd. Bolt caster. Whoa. I wonder if that could be non-lethal. Like maybe trank darts or something? Let's uh let's go ahead and dump something. I've got too many grenades. Like flash bomb, I don't think I need that. Concussion. Uh once set the mine is detonated by any movement within close range, it detonates after a brief duration. Concussion. So that sounds like it might be non-lethal. Concussion. Potentially. Temporarily causes bots to attack their allies. Detonates after a brief duration. Hmm. Well, it doesn't sound... It, seems, it sounds kind of rare, but it also doesn't sound too important. Okay, let's take a look at this bullcaster. 
an accelerator that electromagnetically launches a bolt to deliver a non-lethal neurotoxin to the target. Alternate fire mode toggles a scope. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Uh, let's... Uh, let's put that on one. Oh, whoops. Put that on two, and the pistol on three. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, I guess I don't need any special ammo for it, because ammo is generic. Which is weird. Still very, very weird. Um, uh, scope. Nice. Wow, that's a big zoom, actually. That's, that's a really big zoom. You could... Assuming this thing is accurate from a distance, you could use that to snipe. What if this thing is silent when it shoots? Or if it needs a silencer? Uh, does it accept mods? It does. Ooh. It can take a silencer. Damn! Oh, I wish I didn't spend it on the pistol. Oh well. I wonder if the guard would probably not be happy if I had the bolt caster out. Oh, I should probably heal, too. Hey there. It's probably the minister's place. And that goes up somewhere. And I should probably take a look if anybody's inside. Oh. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of people inside. Man, my instincts are telling me press F here to hide behind the wall and then press Q when they come near to do a takedown, but this is not Mankind Divided. This is very different. Don't think the other one would hear that. No, 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 we're good. We had a shotgun. I wonder if I can sell stuff? Like, is it worth taking a shotgun just to sell? Okay, now that there's just one, I want to test out the bolt caster. Jeez, how long does that take? We've got trouble. How long does it take? I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh, oh. The heck? Find out what that noise I aimed for their head, but it didn't actually hit them in the head. Oh. Damn! I triggered the alarm. I'm the authority here. Hey! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and finally falls. I took a lot of ammo. It seems like they're itching for a fight down there. I think they're on patrol, but I think we're Good for now. Yeah, we're good. All right. So that'll kill me if I go through it. Ah! 
got hit. Uh, uh, oh, Lord. Uh, 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 this guy. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that works. Yeah, that just took up so much of my ammo, though. Let me see if I can do this. Wow. Huh. Do I need the fire extinguisher to put that fire out? <laughs> I'll give her bodies into that, too. I'm not going to do that, obviously. Probably dump something. There must be a way to get a bigger inventory, right? I'll dump the shotgun. I'm not gonna hoard things just in case I can maybe sell them, given how limited my inventory space is. Man, the environment. Whoa. like the windows are triggers that if you break them or something it just triggers an alarm yeah the environments in invisible war are so barren like there's so little in this apartment right so the dirt must be in here Credits, med kit. To be honest, all the objects are so tiny that I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at most of the time. I gotta look at the description, like in the bottom right that shows up to figure out what I just picked up. I know that's ammo. Sniper rifle. Data cube. Legal services and arbitration. Retainer. This agreement is entered into by and between Kevin O'Rourke, called attorney, and Chairman Chris Hubert, called client, to do the following legal work. Defense in Citizens of Cairo Arcology v. Chairman Chris Hubert on 12 counts of civil corruption. Prosecution in suit regarding libel against Chairman Hubert. Is this dirt? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, I gotta pick up the sniper rifle, right? I don't need beer. Long distance ballistic weapon with a low refire rate. Alt fire scope dramatically increases your shot's damage by improving your ability to pinpoint vital organs. Well, as cool as it is, I don't think I'm gonna make that non lethal. Unless there's a mod specifically for that. Um, nope. This is an interesting one. Vaporizes glass with ultrasonic vibrations, breaking the glass silently and doesn't trigger any alarms wired to the glass. It's like maybe you could break through glass like was in the main room up there without triggering it. That's kind of cool. Scrambler grenade, no thanks. Okay, I have a map to their vault, right? The culture minister? Search their penthouse. Look for a vault containing smuggling contraband. Ah. Wait, is the entire door the secret vault, or is that just like there's a specific spot there to open it? Wait, elevator to penthouse suite. I'm not... Minister of Culture's penthouse. Yeah, so this isn't actually the right place. This apartment that I'm in, this is not... 
the Minister of Culture's place. I need to go to the penthouse for that. This is just some Brando's place, I guess. Or maybe it's the Culture Minister's non-penthouse room? I don't know. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think so. Alright, let's go. Don't think I need to worry about any guards anymore. Oh, there's a robot there. Um. So that's roof access. Oh, the elevator to the penthouse suite. That's the thing that had electricity behind it. Huh. There's also maintenance access to penthouse from the lobby. I probably have to hack it though. Maybe in full view of everybody, which is not a good thing. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can get past it. Oh. Oh, 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 it's coming. Can it open doors? Surely it can. <gasps> oh, it can open doors! By the way, my vision does not show non-organic targets through walls, so... You know what? I have EMPs. Does that disable them permanently? I don't know. We're about to find out. Um... Okay. Ooh! Took more than one. I think I should use a med kit. It is, yeah, it's disabled, so it's not coming back. Cool. Security power apartment, key code or multi tool required. Um, hmm. So this only takes me down to the apartment that I was just at, right? So this is no good, actually. Okay, I guess let's head back down. Back down to the lobby. Hey, someone hiding over there? This is just gonna end badly, you know! Ugh. Internal damage. Need repairs. Uh, well, there's a story. <laughs> So, hmm, huh. I wasn't expecting that. They sort of like psychically know I'm an enemy because I took out some of th their guards. Like I took out other guards just like them, but they shouldn't know that I did that. Strange. So they're just my enemy now. That's very different from how it worked and all the other day. Uh, well, I don't know about the original day sex. I can't remember that, but definitely very different from how it worked in Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. That's going to be a problem. I guess I got to take him out then. Sounds like the real thing. Now I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, got it. They just keep fighting my bodies. Would you stop doing that? I think there's another one down the hallway. Uh, that might not be a guard though. I think that's just a civilian. Oh no, that's a guard. Let's. They, maybe they don't have a problem. Maybe they're fine. Hey. Better be a false alarm. Mm. Here we go. Get the hell out of here. Nope. Wow. Wow, that's lame. They shouldn't know anything, right? I mean, this guard. How would they know that I'm an enemy? They've never seen me do anything bad. They don't know what happened to the other people, or they would have been running over there to investigate. So how do I deal with them? I could shoot them in plain sight of the civilian. The civilian would probably cower in fear. I'd rather not do that, but I don't think they'll attack me. 
I don't see what other option I have. I mean, they're... They don't patrol. Uh, let me see if I can distract them by throwing something, maybe. Well, they don't care. Let's try throwing something a little bit closer. Just in case. No, they just do not care. What? Hey, what's that? I'm taking off! It looks like even the civilians uh, notice me. Uh, okay. Hey, cleaning bot! Got something for you to clean. This boy is very dirty. Guess they're just cowering over there. That's actually the maintenance shaft that I need to go into. Let's get some another dose of propaganda. When you drink a cup of coffee, you drink Pequod's. Because Pequod's is a pioneer of the new economy. Efficient, modern, clean. Mmm, Pequod's. Uh, better get the hell out of here. Ooh, I don't think I want to go in there because that little spider bot's in there. Oh, I need to block picket. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll try the shaft. Oh, I'm over the main hallway. Uh, I don't think this is gonna take me where I wanna go. Oh, I hear it. It's close. Nope, let's get out of here. Oh wow, the, <laughs> the penthouse is a whole new load zone. Christ. Ooh. Oh! Top of the elevator shaft. Well, they both lead to the same place. There's no loot or anything as far as I can tell. Are there people here? Doesn't look like it. I hear a spider bot though. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of security there. Oh, it's, it's Pequod's coffee beans. I can just read it. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Damn this inventory. Like, I'm not even using the binoculars at all, but I don't want to get rid of them. I don't know if I'll ever find them again. I mean, they're high-tech binoculars. It says it right on the tin. High-tech. Should I get rid of the sniper rifle? Spider bombs? Mm. I don't know. These spider bombs could possibly be good for other robots. It says they'll deliver EMP and electrical damage, which sounds good for robots. So, I guess I'll get rid of the sniper? I guess? Actually, let's get rid of the concussion grenades. I have concussion proximity mines. Hmm. Actually, let's get rid of the mines. I think I'd rather have the grenades. Oh, it's because I looked away. 
I think we're good for now. No, we're not. Oh, that was me. Oh, that was me. I, I made the, Oh my god, for the second I thought the spider bot made that, like, sad uh, noise. But that was just me making the noise, because I threw it so close to me. I'm sorry, little buddy. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Security beam shut down. Yes, please. Mm, turret still active? Yeah, I don't. I'm almost certain there's no humans around. Ooh, that's cool. Out of order. Oh, I see you behind there. Do I have to... <laughs> I have to clear my inventory just to be able to move the bottles. Damn it. Storage room access. Minister... Finley, I finished repairs on the storage room access. Keep this new keypad code in a safe place, or better yet, destroy it. You don't want anyone getting in to see those items, especially WTO. Oh. It's interesting, so it actually can give me a key code without actually explicitly stating it in the message? Like, this one doesn't actually say what the access code is. But I guess it's somehow stored in the message. Weird. Let's dump that alcohol. Oh god. This inventory system's horrid. So can that turret see me? Like, can the turret see me on its own, or does it need to be triggered by a camera? God, it sure is menacing. It's all red, but... It's not triggering. What's that? A little pig. Oh wow, I have like no energy. I just realized. Oh wow, so one energy cell gives you a max bar. Oh. Is it worth hacking? I've got four multi tools. Eh. I don't think it's worth hacking. Oh, this can probably turn it off. Security camera off. Open vault. Yes. <laughs> Another pair of binoculars. Lies of Mars, why the Global Space Consortium staged the Mars landing. Oh my god, a Mars landing conspiracy theory. Is this our future? From moon landing to Mars? The words still ring in our ears. Yo estoy aqui, todos astamos aqui, I, um, humanidad, ahora, oh god, my pronunciation is terrible, I'm sorry. With that statement, a human being stepped onto Martian soil, with those words, our world changed. Or did it? I am here, we are here, mankind now inhabits two worlds. 
Independent investigators have been gathering evidence for the past year that the international crew of eight never reached Mars at all, but instead hollow simmed the entire landing from the newly established lunar colony. WTO officials refuse to respond to the allegations, and those who try to educate the public about this deception are called crackpots and loonies on the talk bullets. The death of Dr. Martin Zelos in a helicopter crash earlier this year has likely sealed our access to the real story forever. As the last surviving member of the famed Mars crew, he was dogged by truth seekers. They're dogged by truth seekers determined to uncover the deception. In his last interview on the subject, he lashed out at those who questioned the landing, but was obviously filled with fear that his participation in the great lie was close to being exposed. Now the world may never know the truth. What is that? Looks like a future sword behind that glass. I think I'm gonna have to break that. Yeah, there's stuff behind there. There. <laughs> Energy blade. I gotta get that. Um. What is that? EMP converter. Oh, it's a weapon mod. What's an EMP converter? Charges shots with an electromagnetic pulse which damages bots, cameras, and turrets. Mm. So it wouldn't affect people, so it wouldn't make it non-lethal or anything like that. But it doesn't seem to say anything about controlling, like turning on or off the EMP converter. Which means I think it's always going to shoot EMP shots, which means it's always going to use more ammo. Um. Hmm. Eh, I'm going to go for it. Let's experiment. Yeah, unless you can, like, toggle it on and off. Doesn't look like it. And the alt fire mode just uses the camera, so that's not going to change the ammo or anything. Nah, I'm gonna dump the sniper rifle. A will bounce sword enhanced by a plasma electric charge that increases strike damage. That is incredibly cool. At the same time, I'm probably never gonna use that. enough so I can catch it on fire. What an effect of light. Shipping receipt. Finley. These are for Nassif. Same drill. Wait for the biolab scientist at Mako to set up the exchange. Keep these in your vault and no visitors this time. This deal gets us a step closer to the real prize. The mag rail. Deceives people told me Mako is filling a big order for the Templars. A good start. Just don't screw it up. If you keep taking unnecessary risks, we'll find another agent. P.S. You're either on the team or you're off the team. Looks like people from Tarsus are mixed up in that transaction. I'd like to know why they're running equipment to Mako Ballistics, and why a weapon called the Magrail has been commissioned by the Knights Templar. Report to the air terminal. We have a lot to discuss. <laughs> oh, crap. Didn't realize that would damage me. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna check out the rest of the shops and places that might be up here. And then after that, head on down to the lower Seattle to meet with my contact in the order.